Close your eyes for a few seconds. And if you're a student, imagine yourself in a class where you're surrounded by trees, lakes, and nature. Or if you're a patient in a hospital or rehabilitation center, imagine yourself in a hospital that has a full view of the ocean and nature. How would you feel like? How would your satisfaction differ from being at a normal, fully closed classroom or office? Would your mind feel better? Or will your behavior become calmer and milder? Fortunately, the answer to all these questions is a yes. It will differ. Because you'll either feel better, work harder, or heal faster. Unfortunately, most schools, offices, university, hospitals around the world are not designed that way. As Wired.com stated in one of its articles, we spend our lives inside buildings, our thoughts shaped by their walls. In other words, architecture is capable of having extreme effects on those that try to enjoy it. Architecture is becoming a recently discovered factor that is able to change people's consciousness and emotions and feelings. Humans and their built environment have a reciprocal relationship in which both influence one another. While we impact our architecture in a way that best suits us and our interests and hobbies, architecture reciprocates that by changing our behavior. Here in Egypt, many public buildings are very old and built on a very old designing system. These old buildings such as schools and hospitals can have massive effects on the people working or staying in these places. This is one of the main reasons that numerous buildings are falling and losing their foundations. Here in Egypt, building licenses are extremely neglected, so as a result, most of the buildings are built illegally and therefore not properly. Humans tend to feel better when they see something beautiful. The body at that time releases a neurotransmitter called dopamine that is known as the happiness drug. So if one stays at a hospital or house, classroom or office that is well designed and is pleasing to look at, our, per our performance while being there will be enhanced. After psychologists and architects discovered that architecture and the design of the built environment impacts the psyche and behavior of the people, we are then attracted to the idea of its success. And we begin to ask ourselves, to what extent does architectural space affect us in our thoughts, senses, perceptions, and decisions? To what extent can architecture successfully drive human beings away from societal ills? So why should we as Egyptians or humans care about this? The first question that came to my mind after reading about the psychology behind architecture was what if all Egyptian hospitals, both private and public, become like the Mashpa Hospital or the 57357 Children's Cancer Hospital in Cairo? How would Egyptians suffering different psychological and physiological disorders heal faster, having a better place to get treatment? Even though the economic state of Egypt right now is not at its finest, but this change can really influence people. The Mashfa Hospital is a recently built hospital in Cairo, specially dedicated to the treatment of psychological and psychiatric disorders. It has one of the most developed and qualified teams in physical therapy to help treat an ailing body. The rehabilitation center and hospital provides complete mind and body comfort for its patient. What if all of our Egyptian hospitals become transformed into a different national hospital? Would patients heal any faster? A similar question was raised in the United States by one of the very famous architecture professors named Roger Ulrich in 1984. He conducted an experiment project to study the effect of natural scenery and architecture on the walls of a hospital in which patients are in rehab and are recovering from gallbladder surgery. He later concluded that the patients who could view natural scenery and plants left the hospital after about 7.96 days, while on the other hand, the patients that had no natural scenery at all to look at, only a view of the hospital's white walls, left after 8.71 days. 
1996, a study was held to prove the impact of biophilia, which is the including of plants in the design of an area, and the effect of natural lighting on patients suffering from depression and bipolar disorder. After the research was done, scientists were able to conclude that the patients who were accommodated in naturally lit rooms were released after an average of 16.7 days. But patients that were housed in rooms without windows or openings or a small window wall ratio and artificial light were let out after about 19.5 days, which is about three whole days than those of rooms with plant exposure to natural scenery and natural sunlight. Recently, architect Michael Murphy, Michael Murphy's company research slash research group Math Design have been conducting research on how the design impacts clinical processes, decisions, and outcomes during childbirth. After analyzing historical data of suicide rates in the late 1900s, historians and, psychologi and psychologists excuse me, would agree that the start of biophilia would be the most sensible time for it to originate as a type of treatment for the escalating suicide rates, as of the National Center for Health Statistics. As a result, architects should start designing hospitals that had their patients release more dopamine or the happiness drug, therefore making the patients satisfied. By doing that, doctors and architects are working together to make architecture a cure. In addition, natural sunlight has been found to alter the overall satisfaction and enjoyment of patients, going from average satisfaction quality to ideal satisfaction. Daylight research studies have been conducted here in Egypt to test whether the design of hospitals differs in letting sufficient natural daylight affect the mental health care satisfaction of the patients. The research was conducted by three Egyptian scientists in three main hospitals. Al Abbasiya Mental Hospital, Hilwan Mental Hospital, and Mansoura University Hospital. At the end of their experiment, they concluded that natural light adequacy in hospitals has had very positive impact on the hospital's environment as a whole and the satisfaction with, the, with its services. Three positive correlations were found between daylight's efficiency and patient satisfaction questionnaire. And they were all positive meaning that the more the daylight and the bigger the window wall ratio, the more the patient satisfaction. Now this information collected is significant and should be considered as a solution to the health and enjoyment to hospitalized patients. Above all, architecture is the base of our whole life. In other words, there is architecture in everything. And we as humans have the ability to change and form it in the way we feel will help us to either feel better, work harder, or heal faster. Thank you.